Hi guys, it's Laurence Bradford from Learn to Code with me. And after a little hiatus, about a week, I'm picking back up again. And today we're going to be talking about divs. Okay. Okay, I like to hide the camera so I don't feel like I have to look into it the whole time. I can think better. <laughs> um, so a div tag is a way to help break up and section off your HTML. Divs also work pretty much hand in hand with uh, CSS because they allow you to kind of take sections of your HTML and apply certain styles to them. And you can do that with an ID or a class. We talked about IDs and classes. Hold on, I wanna see. We talked about IDs and classes here. What this was a bit ago. And just to refresh your memory, um, an ID should only be one, used once on a given uh, HTML page. And then a class could be used lots of times uh, for different things. So I think I use it in the example like a little widget that you could give this for, for the class, but then for the ID we used footer because on a page there's usually only one footer, right? Okay, back. All right, so here's a, uh, an example. I kind of added this into the website that we've been working on to refresh your memory there. This is the site. I know right now it's kind of, it's a little bit all over, all over the place. Uh, we can hopefully fix that then. I just, you know, was trying to show a bunch of different things. So, okay, this, I added this to the table just to kind of give an example, but this would be an ID. Um, so say you want to give a certain style to this table on the page. Maybe there's other tables that you want this one to look differently from. And you would kind of identify it with that ID. And then here, typically, I don't, I've don't. i never used a div without an ID or a class. But this is just kind of to show how the structure is. Okay, so we're going to put this into action. I already did this uh, to take a photo of the example or a screenshot, but now remember, this is how you comment out uh, HTML. So if I take these, these out, let me make this bigger. You can see here, I added, first off, I added these two paragraphs to the end, okay? And I found this really funny, um, lorem ipsum. I talked about lorem ipsum as kind of like dummy text you put in to just take up space on um, like a website. So if you don't have text yet, you just throw the lorem ipsum in here. It's called hipsum, so it's like hipster lorem ipsum. And you can you know, say many hipster me with a shot of lion, <laughs> beer me, and then it gives you some text. So I took that from there. Anyhow. Okay, so I added these two paragraphs and I put a class of centered around them. Okay, and then if we go to the CSS, I added this earlier too, but I gave the class of centered. So in the CSS, you would call the class with a period. And then you would call an ID with a hashtag um, symbol. See hashtag, right? ID, that means hashtag. Okay, great. So center and font size 0.75 EM. I talked about font size in another video. And the EM is a relative sizing, and so since it's less than one, it's going to be smaller than the rest of the text on the page, and you'll see. Okay, so save. Let's go back. All right, refresh. Okay, great. So you can see that there's text now that appears. It's centered, and it shows up smaller, and that was done by adding the div with the class of centered. Okay. So this is exactly what I talked about, and I kind of already showed you this, but I just put in here. So you would group, you know, these paragraphs with a div, give it this special class. This is the result. Okay, so we can perhaps do another one just to, since I didn't actually 
go through. Let's do it for something else. This is all on the fly here. So, all right. So I have, let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, I have multiple H2s. At least I have two H2s. So I could give this... So you know what? Typically, <laughs> I was just about just give this a div. If you're just giving one H2 a div, it doesn't really make sense. Like if you just want to give it a class, I could just say H2 class equals centered. Right? I pray this works. Oh yeah, see? Okay, and see how it got really small because of the 0.75 size? So if you just want to do it, do it to one thing, you wouldn't give an actual div. It would have to be if I wanted to, you know, this example I really like. I apologize, the doorbell just rang. So what I want to do is I want to clean this up a bit because this does not look good. Let me see, refresh. Okay, so let's see, here's a, we want to take out this link. This link is no good. I also want to take this out. Let's see. Back to normal font. Okay, I'm going to take this out as well. Instead, I'm going to put that here. Refresh. Taking this out, because I don't need that to be red, doesn't really fit. Okay, let's see. I also want to take out this. So we don't need this anymore. Here, I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, so everything on the page has the same font. I'm going to do the body as a font family of Helvetica. Okay. So now, see, that's already looking a bit better. Basically, I just want to organize this in a way that makes sense so it's like a real website instead of just throwing things around. Contact me, my availability. Okay, and then what I want to do, and what we're going to do more next time is we're going to break up the content into these different sections by using divs, okay? So this right here, for instance, is going to be the, we could do a ID header. Okay, so this information is going to be in the header. Hi, my name is Lance Bradford, H1 in my image. Okay, and then, div hashtag content tab button that's how I get that to show up kind of automates it for you this is going to be the content so all of these pair you know what and I'm going to include this too I kind of think that's content okay so now what I want to do is tab in all of this because it you know the indentation So I put all, okay, all this I made content. Tab, let me highlight it all, that just works. And typically what I do so I stay organized is I'll write a comment and put end content, right? Or I could do end ID content. So I know that this content with the, you know, this ID 
is now completed here because it's kind of hard to go up and down and figure everything out. We already have the ID of footer home. I mentioned that because sometimes on different pages you can have a footer um, that looks different, right? What else? Did I oh, and a sidebar. We haven't talked about the sidebar yet, but I'm just going to add that here for right now. So div hashtag sidebar tab, right? And then I'll just put sidebar here. So yeah, we'll talk about how to get that then on the side in future videos, but I'm just trying to separate it right now. So let's go back. I'm, okay, hold on, refresh. Okay, yeah, you really can't see a difference because we haven't given it any styles yet, but we're definitely going to do that in the future videos. But next, we're going to talk about span, the span element, which is kind of similar to a div, but not. It's different, but they kind of do a, they're meant to connect the HTML and CSS and add styling. So we'll talk about that next time. I apologize that I got a little, a little bit quiet towards the end, but uh, the doorbell actually rang and I paused it and then someone came here to fix something with the, the house. So they're downstairs, that's why I was being a little quiet. <laughs> but thanks for watching and yeah, next time we'll talk about the span.